What's up guys? Today I've got this little beauty back. Okay, today we're going to be having a look back at a little Dell Optiplex build that I did in the first video here on the channel, uh, which had a Core 2 Quad 9550, 8GB of DDR2 RAM and a GT1030 as well as a whole load of custom vinyl wrapping and paintwork done to it. And it served its purpose pretty well. In fact, there's absolutely no reason for me to be doing what I'm doing today, but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna do it anyway. So I was watching some uh, videos from another YouTube channel the other day, and I can't believe I never knew about this, but apparently there is a way, potentially, that I can overclock the uh, Q9550 inside this Dell using tape. That's right, you heard me right. I'm going to use some tape to overclock this processor. So as you can see, as a standard, the 9550 runs at 2.83 gigahertz. Uh, so let's see if the tape makes any difference, I guess. Okay, first things first, let's get the CPU stripped out of here. That interior still looks really good. And there it is. Well, so I'm going to give this a quick clean up. And then we'll put on some tape, I guess. Okay, so I don't know if you can make this out, but essentially the idea is that we use a piece of tape to cover these two pins on the processor. And that should, if the motherboard supports it, allow this to boot with a 400 megahertz base frequency instead of a 333 megahertz base frequency, therefore overclocking the processor. Uh, so, I guess we just stick the tape on and see if it works. Okay, so I've got that blocked off. Let's plug it in and see if it does anything. Okay, so everything's reinstalled. Let's see if it fires up. Well, it sounds like it's going to take off, but I don't think that's going to work. Well, that was disappointing. Right, so I put everything back together and removed the tape, and as you can see, it is now working fine. Um, I'm not completely surprised that this didn't work with it being an Optiplex 755, uh, one of the earlier models for the 775 socket. I, I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't work with the higher base frequency, but it was worth a try anyway. If we had the Q6600 in here instead of the Q9500, which worked at a lower frequency in the first place, then we could bump it up and we'd probably be able to get 3.4 gigahertz uh, potentially out of that so if I can get my hands on a Q6600 we'll give that a go in here but what I really wanted to do was try overclocking the Q9550 yeah so many Q's so many numbers uh, yeah I really wanted to give that a try uh, obviously it's not going to work on this board but I get the feeling it may work on a 780 
as uh, the Optiplex 780 is a much newer version of the 775 socket, albeit still massively out of date, but it accepts DDR3. So the chances of it having a uh, higher base frequency is fairly substantial. So we might give that a go if I can get my hands on another 780 again at some point. But for now, I've managed to waste your time and mine. So I guess that's mission accomplished enough. Time for an unusually serious moment here on this channel. Uh, a friend of mine's father recently passed away of a sudden cardiac arrest. Um, and in his memory, my friend is trying to raise some money to get a uh, defibrillator installed in his local area to help potentially save some lives. Uh, so there's a GoFundMe link in the description. Anything that you could offer to help out with this would be amazing to help him reach the goal and hopefully we can all help to save some lives. Thanks. So the aim of this video was a complete waste of my time, your time, and anybody else's time. But you know what won't be a complete waste of time? Next week's video, where I'm going to be putting a sleeper build inside this. So join me for that. Until next time, see you later. You know, I definitely had time for more video today, but um, kind of ran out since it didn't work. So to fill out this video, here's some stock footage of a squirrel. And that didn't last very long. Um, here's some of a bear. How about a chimpanzee? Uh, the next one will be longer.